We, we made, made it, it to, to Vietnam. Vietnam. <laughs> So we just arrived in Vietnam, just got off the bus. Uh, we're heading to our hotel apartment right now. I don't think we have any plans tonight because we both slept terribly last night and had to get up really early. So I think we're just gonna lay low tonight. And then what are we doing in the next few days? We don't have plans for tomorrow yet, but while we're in Vietnam, we're starting in Hanoi and then we're heading to Cat Ba and then Ninh Ben. We're doing Hoi An. Uh, da Nang and ending in Ho Chi Minh. So we have a big couple of weeks ahead of us. And then we're going on a little incursion into Cambodia, which we're yeah. really excited for. It's our first day in Vietnam. And we're headed for the old quarter. But first, we're gonna stop at a couple of temples that are on our walk. I think it'll take us like two hours to get to the old quarter, so this will be quite the adventure today. That's yeah, gonna be a long walk. <laughs> also, first impressions of Hanoi, it is a very loud city. Loud and dusty. Yeah. Like an obstacle course. You can see behind us Tran Kok Pagoda, that's our first stop. And we're walking along the lake right now and there's all these people out fishing and the fog is really heavy today. It's really nice. We're at the Tran Kok Temple with the pagoda next to it. This is the oldest Buddhist temple in Hanoi. It's on this cute little island and it draws tons of tourism. Let's go check it out. They have all these posters in the Buddhist temple for the laws of karma, and the first one is not voting well for us. We're leaving Tran Kok Temple. The next temple is about 10 minutes away and it's just like over a bridge. So there's not much between here and there. And then we absolutely need to find some food. <laughs> Getting hungry. <laughs> yeah. Well, we found the next uh, temple that we were gonna go to. It's here. Uh, but they charge to get in. Ellen is starving and borderline hangry, so we're gonna skip it and go get something to eat. Yeah! <laughs> We just finished lunch, the taco shop. It was delicious. As always. <laughs> uh, and I think now we're gonna head into the old town. Still on our way to that old quarter, but we found this market to wander through on our way. Oh. This is hectic. It's crazy in here.
This thing is three floors. Well, if you can't tell, we made it to the old town. <laughs> and it is crazy down here. Yeah, lots of shops, people everywhere, scooters, bikes, everything. We saw a motorcycle accident. Yeah. It's been wild. got a little overwhelmed in the old quarter. It was loud, it was fun, it was hectic, but you just take one step, a street over south from the old quarter, and you end up in Nyapsan Temple, and it is just calm and beautiful. It's like a whole different world. Well, it's two o'clock, and we're headed back to the apartment. I was so convinced when we left this morning that we were going to be out all day, all evening. I packed for it and Rob said, no way, we're going to be tired by two. And he, it is exactly two o'clock and we are ready to go sit down for a little while. <laughs> we took a nap. It's about 5.30 in the evening. At lunch we met some expats that invited us to happy hour at the Mexican restaurant that we ate at. So I think we're going to go meet them and we are not going to bring the camera. So yeah. we'll see you tomorrow. It is our second day wandering around Hanoi. Technically third, we just didn't do anything yesterday. <laughs> but we are headed to the bus station. It's the evening and we have two things on the agenda. The first is the Long Bian Bridge and then the second is Train Street. I love that you can feel the bridge shaking. On our first day here, you're wandering around the lake and you have these really nice images of people fishing out in what we thought was fog. So we've now been here for a couple days. We have learned it is smog. Air quality while we've been here has been horrible. You can see it looking out over the map. This is actually one of the better days we've had. So the walkway here is pretty narrow. I don't know what the code is, but people seem to be stepping off. Somebody has to step off into all of that so that someone can go around because this railing is like way side. So uh, it, it seems like they've all been trying to just step into the street to go around us, but I don't know what the protocol is on that. Also, that's exactly what I was gonna say. The other thing about this is those slates that are on the sidewalk, they all move and it scares the hell out of you. Then you're about 75 feet over the water and you feel one of these things move or they trip you up like that one just did. Yeah. 
got to the other side. Now we are crossing under the bridge so we can go back on the other side. Now we're heading back into Hanoi where we're heading to the train street. Uh, I'm sure you've seen pictures of it online where people are at the cafes drinking coffee and then all of a sudden a giant passenger train just comes ripping through. Yeah, we're hoping it's like open to go see and that tourists are welcome. I mean, it is just a street, but it seems contentious on if you're allowed there or not because of the passenger train. She loved flowers. I love them so much. On our way from Longbian Bridge to the train street via the Old Quarter. It is lively tonight. We made it to Train Street. When you come to the edge of it, there's gates and a guard, and there was this kind of chaos, and there were lots of people kind of arguing with the guard, but I read on the blog that if you can find a cafe owner, they will usher you in, and that is exactly what happened. A cafe owner came out and said, are you coming in for a coffee? And I said, yes, and they ushered us in, and we got sat right down. We got ourselves some beers that are actually not as overpriced as I expected, which is nice, and so now we're just waiting for the train. We just left Train Street. We did not see the train. It sounds like it's kind of a like half scam, half just the way it is. There's like all these coffee shops that line the street. All of them have different signs about when the train comes, like what time, what days. Um, and you can look it up online too. And all of them vary. They're completely different. Like there's no consistency between them. And so when we first got there, they said, oh, the train will be here at 7.15, or that's what we read online. Uh, and then as 7.15 came around, the guy's like, oh, uh, uh, 8 o'clock now. And then it was 8.30, then it was uh, 9 o'clock, then it was maybe 9.15. And so what they do is they get you to stay with the hope that the train is coming. Uh, and it may or may not be coming. It does come just enough that it makes it not a total scam because it, because it does come, but you just never know when. Uh, there's no way to find a reliable timetable. Uh, you find different times on online as opposed to what you find in the, in the streets there. So make sure you eat and drink if you're gonna go there because then you can just sit around. You have to buy something uh, when you get to these cafes, but you can mostly just sit there off of one drink, so. Yeah, but we hadn't eaten dinner yet, so at some point we were just like, we gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. We have just arrived at the mausoleum. It is day three wandering around Hanoi, and this is the first thing on the list today. Ho Chi Minh is revered here in Vietnam as unifying the country, and so they've embalmed his body, and they keep him in this building, let's see, behind us right here, and people can go pay their respects and visit him. So that is what we are headed to do. Uh, so we just, we're at the presidential palace right now. We just came out of the uh, mausoleum, Ho Chi Minh's mausoleum. Wild, super quiet. That was the craziest thing I've ever seen. It was I really crazy. Yeah, I can't explain it. But if you come to, to Hanoi, you have to do it, I, I think. It's yeah. free, they don't even charge you. Yeah, and there's no cameras or photos, or, and, and it's one of the few things that you truly have to experience in person these days. Yeah, that's why all this footage right now is not gonna be very good because we have no audio stuff. We don't have any of our, we don't have anything except for the camera that gave, that's the only thing they gave us back. So. Wow. 
So our initial impression of Ho Chi Minh and the palace was a little chaotic, but now that we've collected ourselves, we're walking around the palace grounds and it's just a very neat day. The palace grounds are beautiful. We get to see Ho Chi Minh's house and the palace and where he worked and the cars that drove him around. And now we're in the gardens and there's many grapefruit trees. But yeah, definitely a must see here. We just left Ho Chi Minh's mausoleum. I don't know what to think. I don't think it's him, to be honest. I, yeah. I think it's a wax. Not to be conspiracy theorists, but I agree. Supposedly <laughs> they send the body off every year to Russia to be worked on, uh, but I, I think it's just a wax body. But it's super quiet, kind of creepy in there. You really don't hear anything except for the shuffling of footsteps. There's like four guards in all white with rifles just standing at the corners of the bed that he's laid out on. And oh my gosh, so when you walk in, well, as you're entering, they like put everybody in a line and Rob and I were the line leaders, but there was nobody leading us. So we like didn't know where to go and we were super awkward and there's all these guards like trying to wrangle us. But using weird hand gestures, like instead of saying like, go on, they're like, so we stopped and then he's like, I don't, I don't know what you're saying. It was all very overwhelming, but fascinating and I'm very glad we went. I think now we're going to head to Kwa La Prison, uh, also called the Hanoi Hilton. It was an old prisoner of war camp, like the most notorious one for American soldiers captured in Vietnam. So we've arrived at the Hao La Prison Relic. We're just walking along the walls here, headed for the entrance. Usually museums don't make for great filming, so we'll see what it looks like once we're inside, but we're gonna go check it out. We just left Wallow Prison. Uh, it was very interesting. There's definitely much more about how the Vietnamese were abused in here by the French, which obviously it's in Vietnam and it's about them. Uh, but there is a little section about the Americans, but it's mostly about how good they were to the American prisoners, which we know is not true. A very different perspective. Yeah. <laughs> but it was very informative and pretty humbling to see. Terrifying. Oh. I think now we're gonna head home. I think that kind of concludes Hanoi for us. Tomorrow is supposed to rain all day, so I don't think we're gonna go anywhere or do anything. So. And then we're on to Kat Ba. So see you there. <laughs>